Hello, my Pisces people, my beautiful Piscianos. I have a reading for you today. Um, I just wanted to give you a message of hope. And um, this one's a little, this one is a little bit heavy, but there is a hope at the end. Um, and I just want you to know, I love you so much. And my, atten my intention with this video is whatever you're feeling right now, if you're not feeling good, my intention is that you will by the end of this video. I send you love and light and I ask God to come upon you and the Holy Spirit to just cleanse your heart and your mind and your soul and cleanse my heart and my mind and my soul to give you a good reading. So we're going to jump in here. Here we go. So over, we've got um, what you're thinking about your person right now. And oh, by the way, I don't mind my food. Um, I'm reading right now, John Maxwell, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. I, if you haven't read that before, I, I tell you, go check it out, especially if you're trying to, you know, work on yourself or build a business, something like that. Anyways, so we got a lot of heavy energy over here. Um, basically, it feels like there's some spiritual warfare going on. Right now, this is your side here. What you think about your person. I asked what Pisces thinks about their person. And what I got was Eight of Swords. Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and Temperance. That is such heavy, heavy energy. You think your person's all up in their minds. Um, or maybe, honestly, I feel like a lot of you could be all up in your mind, too. You might be all up in your minds and overthinking this whole situation. Um, I might do a couple readings that aren't about love because I feel like right now a lot of us are so obsessed with our love life that we might not be focusing on other things but your what's going on with your person right now is they're in your head their head you're in your head everybody's making like these rash decisions knight of swords you think that your person cut you out and is chasing money and queen of wands you might think that they're you know, um, in this heavy wandy energy and that they need some temperance. Um, what your person's thinking about you. Your person is viewing you as the queen of cups. They see you as magical, but also that you've completed cycles but you're not totally financially stable and there's some changes going on in the devil energy. There's a huge devil energy in here. Maybe they think that there's a Capricorn in your life. Um, and honestly, this three of cups over here, your person sees you as someone who has a lot of potential suitors and they they might be thinking that you're stepping out or you're exploring those options. And maybe you are, maybe you're not. Who knows? <laughs> um, only you know, and God knows. But your person sees you as someone who has lots of options, lots of opportunities, and they are, they think you might be, you know, seeing pursuing those options. They see you as very, very emotional. There's three, you don't see them as emotional at all. Like there's no cups over here. They see it was very, very emotional. And brrr, there's like, just, it's not balanced. What you think about them and what they think about you, it's not reality. It feels like there's this illusion. There's a disconnect. So I was asking, Holy Spirit, what is it that's connecting you guys? <clears throat> what you share? And what I ended up getting was this the king of cups and nine of pentacles and king of pentacles so there's definitely emotion you share the king of cups the two of you no matter what <clears throat> what's connecting this knight of swords energy what you think about them and what the queen of cups what you think about or what they think about you what's connecting you is king of cups there's a lot of love here there's a lot of love but there might not be a whole lot of trust or communication because there's so much pentacles here. 
King of Pentacles is connecting the devil and temperance. And Nine of Pentacles is connecting the Knight. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Oh, I didn't even notice that before. There's two knights right here back to back. Hmm, two knights here back to back. So you think they're making decisions based on money and they think you are making decisions based on emotions and both of those are rash decisions. Nine. What's connecting you is focusing on work. Both of you are kind of focusing on money and that's what's going to balance it out a little bit. And King of Pentacles. Yeah. Connecting, ooh, connecting the devil and temperance. Now the devil, this one's a hard one. Because honestly, okay, I try not to put my own spin on these things, but I know there's a lot of spiritual warfare going on in my life right now. And maybe you guys are feeling that too, Piscianos. Um, it feels like there's illusions. They might think you're doing things. I, you know, I don't even want to get into that. I just want to let you know the Holy Spirit's saying don't get too bogged down with that. The devil is interfering. And we need a balance. There's temperance. There's two major arcanas that are connected right here with the King of Pentacles. And I also pulled some clarifying cards about what's holding you back. Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. And how you can get past it was, where were you? How you can get past it is Ten of Cups and a Five of Swords. Ooh, 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 heavy, heavy, heavy. What's holding you back is emotional immaturity. Could be on your end, it could be on the other person's end. My guess, my guess, Pisces, is that it's not on your end. It's probably on the other person because... Oh, however, Pisces, we do have we do have a tendency to get stuck in our emotions, but you know, you put the energy where it fits you. So emotional immaturity, maybe old mindsets, ace of pentacles. Um focusing on career sometimes and actually hierophant. Okay. Sometimes we can try to turn ourselves away from the emotions and focus on money. And I think that's what's going on here in your love relationship right now. Both of you are turning towards focusing on money when we really need to be focusing on God and spirituality and letting God lead us. The Hierophant speaking about wisdom. So, and then what's going to help you is putting down the sword, stopping the mental prison, putting down these negative mindsets and these limiting beliefs and embracing the Ten of Cups, having fun and enjoying life. <clears throat> Enjoy your life, my people. Um, and then the clarifying, the last final messages I got from the Holy Spirit was, today I am resourceful. Today I will turn anything into an opportunity. Today I am resourceful. Today I will turn anything into an opportunity. Today I am confident. Today I am who I am and I am capable of doing anything that I put my mind to. Woo, I love that one. Wow, I love that. I'm gonna say that again. Type it in the comments if you feel that. Whatever, whichever one you need that I am resourceful or I am confident. Today I am confident. Today I am confident. Today I am confident. I am who I am, and I am capable of anything that I put my mind to. I am who I am, and I am capable of doing anything that I put my mind to in the name of Jesus. And I got asked a couple more pieces of wisdom. Enjoy the now. <sighs> Enjoy the now. So if you've been spending a lot of time on, um, and of course put this wherever the energy goes, but if you've been spending a lot of time focusing on your career, a lot of time focusing on 
negative mindsets or your relationship, emotions, all that stuff. Whew, sometimes we can get stuck in this energy. And this is how the devil controls us is we can get stuck in this energy of controlling and manipulating things and trying to change and trying to do better. And wow, enjoy, find those little moments. Identify and remove toxic people around you. Identify and remove toxic people around you. So, <laughs> so basically what I'm saying is identify and remove toxic people around you. And that can be hard sometimes because sometimes we think we remove the toxic people and then toxic, then uh, it might be, you might cut out everybody in your life. We get so obsessed with this toxicity stuff and we might cut out everybody. Or in my situation, I started cutting out people that I thought were toxic, but then some bad things were happening to me and I realized I need emotional support. And I've been praying and praying and praying and going to God and going to my spiritual team. But sometimes we just need a human being by our side at times. And so I started going back to some of my old friends Oh boy, and that was such a bad decision. <laughs> Some of them weren't. Some of them actually were really good for me, but one of them in particular, I went to a, an old friend that I thought was toxic, but then I was like, you know, sometimes I get a little over overboard with cutting out people, so maybe I should let this person in. And she, she helped me through a good time, or I mean, she helped me through a bad time, I thought. And then she started flipping out all of a sudden and it was just like, bam, she just totally switched up and started telling me every horrible thing that I've ever done. And then telling me all these things about myself that weren't even true. But at the moment I freaked out and I was so sad because some of the stuff she was saying was true and it made me feel like shit. And you know, I'm hard enough on myself it is, as it is. And I know all of you Pisces, we can be hard on ourselves and she just started saying things that weren't true. And that's when I realized, holy cow, like, as much as I hate to say it, this is somebody, she did help me in my time of need, but then no, it wasn't, no, it wasn't the kind of help I needed. Ooh, so maybe that'll help you guys identify and remove toxic people around you because no matter how sad and depressed you are, no matter, matter how many things are happening, it, and you feel like things are crumbling all around you, you do not need that negativity. If this is a person that makes you feel good for the time being, but then all of a sudden shits all over you, sorry to be so blunt, it is not good for you. That is a toxic ass behavior and you need to get that out of your life right now. So going back to enjoy the now, enjoy the now. What are three things right now that you're excited about? What are three things you can do for yourself right now to make yourself feel good? Um, watching this video hopefully is helping you enjoy. Whew, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Honestly, praising God, praising God is so helpful. Sometimes I praise God and then I feel sad sometimes because I'm like, I'm praising you so much, but I still feel this heaviness. But rebuke that heaviness and praise anyway, because praise you, God. Hallelujah. It makes you feel so good. Or just thinking about things you're thankful for. Tonight, I'm going to be going to see my son in his school play, and I'm so excited. Ah, okay. <laughs> brr, brr, like, oh, no matter how bad things are, being, being a mom is one of the best things of my life. Like, that gives me so much hope seeing my son do his thing like acting was my thing and i loved it and maybe one day i'll get back into it because i that gives me so much happiness and so much pure joy and satisfaction but um just going to his play tonight that's something i'm doing for him because i know he needs my support but it's also something i'm doing for me because i'm gonna have such a blast at that so what is something you can do for yourself right now to enjoy the moment either comment that below or um yeah honestly like, i want to start a dialogue with you guys i don't want this to be just me giving advice i want this to be a dialogue so tell me what you guys are excited about right now in the comments anyways i love you guys and i hope you have a wonderful fantabulous day and i hope you got something out of this i know i kind of <laughs> 
I kind of rambled for a bit. And anyways, I know I'm going to get better at this as time goes by. But I just want to share some love and light with you guys. And yeah, I love you all. Praise God and namaste. Bye.